I grew up on a farm by Fulda, Saskatchewan. My mom and dad had a really nice spot there, lots of gardens, lots of flowers. My dad liked to grow cut flowers. I didn't like gardening as a kid. I wanted to be a singer ever since I was, I don't know, three, one. Like, as soon as I could talk, I would sing. I have my bachelor's of music through the University of Saskatchewan, and then I went on to get my master's at Western University. Tried to be an opera singer, but it didn't work out very well. My dad died. The 2008 recession happened. Initially, it was kind of hard to build up my studio, but I built up a studio again. I now had 60 kids. I was running it all by myself. I had three choirs, tons of private students. I was teaching music for young children. It all kind of came to a head when Dominic, my son, was two because my husband was working and gone almost all of the time. My son was being diagnosed for autism and I got mono. And I was sicker than I had ever been in my entire life. And I decided I had to do something else. So um, I thought about blogging. I was just wanting something that would pay our bills and allow me to be with my family and do something that I loved. And every time I had a spare moment just to like learn the business, keep writing, throw spaghetti, see what sticks. I knew it had to be something creative if I could really help it because I've just always been like this. I can't not create. Okay, I can't even focus with her crying that much. <laughs> Shifting Roots has become a gardening blog. Um, our major focuses are perennial flowers, cut flowers, and small space gardening. And I've written five or six ebooks. I'm starting to lose count. One, two, three. And so, like, when I was trying to make this right here, I thought the front was going to be something. And then as I'm turning it around, I realize, no, that's not the front at all. And then you just change course, and it's fine. Well, giving up music felt soul crushing because it was everything I was. And it was so wrapped up in like my identity and my self-worth. Yeah. I've really learned that, you know, life doesn't give you perfect circumstances. It's never gonna be the perfect time. You're never gonna have the perfect skills, but you know, sometimes just good plus good equals excellent. The thing you end up with when you work with what you have is so much better. It's really nice being able to be flexible for my kids, to have my husband not have to work a job that like takes him away all the time, and um, to provide for my family without like it taking everything from me. My dad. I think if he was still alive, he would be very proud of me, and I know my mom is too. He would love to see this business. Oh, hi, baby.